Well, hello everybody. Welcome to another ride, uh, ride along with goggles. Apologize for the noise. <laughs> if you get up near me, it'll be quieter. But uh, we're in um, uh, Astralon, and uh, up at this sawmill up in the middle of nowhere. And the reason I grabbed the job, I'm trying to get over here, maybe, is um, well. Let's look at the map. I'll explain it. I was trying to. Because we've been through here a few times now on the uh, this Highway 66 here. And cruise through here, very scenic, you know, the big vistas and looking down sheer cliffs and canyons and stuff. It's awesome. We've been done a few trips through here. But we could look down and see down below uh, when we we're way up high on these bridges, the road down below. And I thought, well, we'll have to get down there someday and take a trip. Well, here we are, getting down onto the old Route 66. And I see this stuff, and I go, yeah, okay, well, I did a uh, job search uh, without my trailer, just to, you know, grab somebody else's trailer, and uh, ended up uh, getting this load with a little double. So it's perfect. So we should uh, jump in and get going because um, it's uh, it's only 13 kilometers, but I think it's going to take us a little while. Hopefully we can get it in, you know, that sort of half hour range. That would be nice. It's set up good in the truck. Brakes are off. Lights are on. Let's roll. So once again, if you aren't familiar with this map, it's one to one. So, it's going to be like really driving 13 kilometers, but uh, could be a little bit challenging. And uh, we've got a fairly long wheelbase truck here, but the offsetting that with the little twin trailer doubles, so see how we do. load is actually 46,000 pounds, so it's fairly heavy. Wow, a lack of traction up this hill. I'm going to just kind of go easy on the throttle there. Oh, pavement. Get out and have a look here, what's coming. This trailer is following me. Uh, well, I think it's right in the way. How well this trailer is following us. Oh, it's getting into the other lane quite a bit on those corners. Holy. Okay. I think our truck is a little bit too long <laughs> for this trip. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Got the sensitive brakes happening again. Probably be able to at some point here see where the the road up oh there's a road up there, see? And another deep grove site down there. Awesome. So we've been on that highway up above looking down at what's going on below. Be nice to stop in and have a look at that, but I don't know if we got time. I 
don't have a speed limit on this road. It's not showing up, so we're gonna go as fast as we dare to go. Quite the uh, scenic <laughs> place here. Stop and have a look. Oh, too soon for that gear. Let's have a quick look and see what we can see in this spot. Uh, I have to turn the engine off for this to work. There we are up there ahead. There's the highway way up on our left that we've been on before. Hmm. Very cool. I think this is up ahead. This is what we still haven't, we haven't traveled up here yet. Oh, it's people who didn't make it on that road. There's a highway up there, and they're zooming in on the truck. Well, I'll be horn swoggled. That's quite something. I think what I'll do while I'm here, let's just uh, take a screenshot. Because it's not going to be any fun trying to take one while we're driving the way I normally do. Not on this road. <laughs> uh, yikes. Okay, can we get anything in that here? I don't see anybody. Right, we're good. in standard here and this map is in metric it says we have six miles to go which is I don't know 10 kilometers or so and we started out with 13 so we still got a while you know it's gonna take us a little while to get through here what I've seen on the map some of this up ahead is pretty treacherous what we gotta watch is uh, or what will be a problem is if we run into traffic on one of these hairpin turns. Yeah, here's down at the bottom of the... Oh, keep on the road, dude. Just trying to look at... Yeah, here's that building we saw from the, the scenic uh, helicopter tour there. Looks a little different down here than it did from uh, in the air in the little tour. What do we 
got going on here. The lodge, indeed. Chopping some wood with an axe or something. This looks like a sharp corner. How's our trailer doing? We got it. Doing all right. See if somebody's coming the other way. We got, like I say, a fairly long truck, and uh, we'll have it out in the other lane, no doubt. We have a speed limit now. 37 miles an hour. This is pretty epic uh, scenery. I was trying to, you know, boy, I'm really frustrated today. It's Friday. Is oh, I was, oh, sorry, that was me. I put my hand up in my in front of Toby. Um, so I've been trying for two hours to get a video started for the morning video for ATS, and I really wanted to do. I haven't in a long time. I took Pinga's truck out of my mod order folder entirely because it's really bothering me that it uh, has just doesn't work with anything and so I thought well I'll create my own profile or uh, a profile with no other trucks in it so what I did is I uh, started up uh, or I cloned a profile and I sold everything in it and off I went just ping his truck in there and ping his trailers but the profile had had in it uh, Bart's Great Dane. And so, you know, I'm thinking everything's going to work fine. And taking my time, you know, thinking, well, I'll just have, a, I'll, I'll be late for supper. I'm way late for supper now. Hours. Because I'm just so determined to get this darn video done. Anyway, I'm farting around with that thing. And I finally get a uh, truck built and to my satisfaction. It's a nice looking rig. And I even made a multicolor paint job like this one for it. Took the time to do that. That took a few hours. And uh, thinking I'm going to have a really cool video with Pinga's truck. I get, and I wanted to do one of those uh, Valentine contracts because I haven't done any of them yet. So I'm in. Um, San Angelo, Texas, and I'm driving to go get the uh, trailer, thinking everything's going to work fine, and all of a sudden the truck falls through the map, it's stuck in the road, like it's just, and uh, I look in the log file, and it's complaining about Bart's Great Dane trailer, and I get more problems from that stupid Bart's Great Dane trailer in my profiles that you can shake a stick at. It's just so frustrating. That thing. And so anyway, long story short, I just, I was just spinning my wheels, wasting my time, hours trying to set up an interesting video. And time wasted. So, needless to say, not a great way to start the weekend. I don't know why Bart's and Pink is stuff, just you can't put them together. I'm, I'm going to uh, delete those profiles trash them is they're corrupted now there's nothing I can do about it so yeah so I'm a little grumpy <laughs> if, 
But no, and I still can chuckle at it, but uh, it's just. I don't know. Time I want to take a photo of some trees in the way. Here we go. Right here. Get one more before we hit that corner. Cool. Anyway, so I thought, well, what truck do I just love? And cheer me up. <laughs> FLX 359. This truck puts a smile on my face. Such a good truck. So well modeled. And doesn't mess with anybody else's trucks. And the game never crashes with it. So my little antidote to my Pinga and Bart problems. Well, I, so far these cars are dodging a bullet. getting down here. Well, I guess we got to get down to the town level. Uh oh. Got that guy stopped. That's quite a map. <laughs> wow. Oh, we're almost there. Ooh, shoot. I probably have hard parking turned on. Is this it? An Eddie's? No. Oh, the building site, right, plaster and sense. Okay, well, let's see what they, oh, yeah, where should I place it? They recognize the uh, problems inherent with the, this trailer. Configuration and that your average dude isn't going to be able to back it up. Oh, I'm not quite on the mark, but maybe we'll get it. Uh oh, did I miss it by that much? Sure did. Now we got to try and back it up. It should be a straight line. They're going to start going funny on us. this way. I 
Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah, we're going to get ourselves in a pile of trouble here with this thing. What are the chances of us eventually getting that back trailer in here are? Not very good. Oh, oh, oh. We got it. There we go. <laughs> Jeez. Always some drama. Well, there we are. Let's uh, jump in and shut her all down. Get the uh, lights off. Oh, brakes on. Mission off. Oh, yeah, it's uh, their trailer. I got to decouple. Seven. Oh, that's liters. Seven point five liters. Fourteen kilometers. A hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I would have paid them to uh, see that uh, scenery. Yeah, look at that. East Rose. Cool building site, too. Instead of just the default normal kind of thing you get with uh, plaster and suns. But this truck, man, it's the business. I love it. So anyway, there's another little trip in uh, Astralon. And uh, yeah, it's awesome. So you can see the route out of town. So we're on the other side of the river. When we started the other trips, we were, uh, um, I don't know, pointed about the direction I'm, the truck is down at this level on the other side. And we climbed up that other side through the town and headed out on the highway and doubled back somehow. And pretty cool. I was pretty scenic. Let's see if we can. And the home garage is up on that hill somewhere over there. I'm trying to spot it. I can't quite see it. It's probably blended in with those buildings somewhere up fairly high. Right about center, above that, below that uh, water tower, down around there. Up top, sorry. Anyway, thanks for following along, guys. Appreciate it as always. And uh, you know, I'm pretty bummed out about everything that's happened trying to get this video done. But that that drive cheers me up, and <laughs> that's a good way to go into the weekend with uh, with uh, one of my favorite trucks and uh, a nice drive. This thing is the business. It's a good one. Anyway, catch you on the next one, and uh, bye for now.